Steve. I think this is the third time you made me do this, but it's still difficult. It gets worse to watch every time. Okay, that's right, you normally edit it out, don't you? Yeah. Right, so Cobras today, no easier to get in and out of than Westfield. This one has been known to us for a long, long time, uh, owned by a chap called Eddie that lives locally. He built the car up in mid-90s. I recently asked him, so when did you finish building it? And he said, it's a kit car, it's my hobby, it's never finished. He originally bought a 3.9 used engine, which we stripped down back in the 90s, I believe, and found out it was a 3.5. That wasn't enough for him, so he decided straight away to go 4.6, which we'll show you under the bonnet in a second. It's gone through a few stages. Uh, we're now about to do some more upgrades, and we've got a rolling road session that we're going to to get some power figures now, and then we'll do the same again at the end to show the difference. So uh, let's open the bonnet and have a look, shall we? Okay, so as we said, 4.6 uh, base engine underneath. We've got ultimate big valve cylinder heads. Originally the engine was built with a Weber 500 carburetor, which Eddie enjoyed for quite some time. However, several years back now, probably more than we care to remember, we upgraded to the Hotwire 14 CUX ECU and triple throttle body injection system. The ECU's tucked neatly under here. We actually cut two, about, about two foot out of the wiring loom so that there was no coils of wires around here. So that was a nice wire tuck we've done. Triple throttle body because A, aesthetically under the bonnet here, well, why wouldn't you? B, the throttle response it gives you on the injection system is just amazing. This currently plumbed down to a 3.9 airflow meter. So what are we doing now? Well, it's in for Merlin cylinder head upgrade. We're also going to do some larger injectors uh, with a much better revised spray pattern and also upgrade the airflow meter to a Bosch 4.6 airflow meter, which has a, a huge internal diameter difference and rework some of this trunking. So that's what the plan is. We're going to show you every step of the way, what we do and how we do it, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Uh, that's all for now. So the following dyno session, we noticed a bit of a misfire at the top end, and when monitoring the AFRs, we also noticed it's just started to lean out, out a little bit, so obviously we're going to investigate that. Uh, we peaked here at 275 horsepower and 290 pounds foot of torque. I know Eddie's had it on a previous Dyna run and was at 285 horsepower, so the Misfire is losing us uh, about 10 horsepower at the moment. <laughs> 